Hallelujah. The one that is meant for you will come to love you and become obsessed with you. You and no third party will come near your relationship. No third party will come near your relationship. The one that is meant for you will come to love you and become obsessed with you. No third party will come near your relationship. Hallelujah. Amen. No third party will come near your relationship. You see, when something is for you, it would always be for you. No matter what, no matter how long it takes, it will come back looking for you. Things, there are some people that they fail to understand that when two people in two people are in love, you can try your possible best to separate them, but you cannot separate their hearts. You try your possible best to separate them. Yes, you can separate them like did these talks and this or that they'll say that um they can be saying, someone will just come and tell you that, you see. This, your partner, is no good for you. Your partner did this, your partner did that, your partner is up, your partner is down, your partner is not the kind of person. Yes, at that moment you're trying, at that moment you're trying to separate them. You're trying to separate them. And when you do separate them, you cannot separate their heart. That is the truth. You cannot separate their heart. You will separate them, but their heart will still be communicating. How is their heart going to be communicating? Because each time they'll be thinking about each other. You can try to separate somebody and then you want to force yourself and try to take that person uh, uh, space. Yes, you can do it, but you cannot take you cannot take you cannot separate their heart. That is one thing. Most of all most of us fail to understand that yes we fail to understand that separating somebody you're not separating their heart so and if you separate somebody to be in that person position you will not stay there for long you're only wasting your time there instead for you to go around to do that you stay and pray to god because when you ask god for anything he will answer your prayer request you stay Pray for yourself, prophesy for yourself, say, Father, before this year comes to an end, I want to have my own relationship that is serious. God will answer your prayer then rather than you go to spoil another person's relationship just because you want to be in that position. Do you think that that person is going to love you the way he, he loves uh, 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 the person that is trying to destroy their relationship? Hell no. They will not love you the way they love the, the person that they have been with. So rather for you to go around and be spoiling relationships or try to be third party in some people relationship or trying to be third party in some people marriages, sit down, take that wonderful time, pray to God to give you your own relationship. Trust me, pray to God to give you your own relationship. You are going to enjoy every bit of it. You can never enjoy somebody's relationship, never. If you want to enjoy it, it will not last. That is the truth. Pray let God give you your own relationship to enjoy it. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I thank you for the life of your children. I thank you for those that are watching. God, go ahead and do something in their life. Father, show them the right way to follow. Direct their footsteps. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for everybody that is watching. That may the good Lord keep you because his face to shine on you. May he give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Surely, God, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I love you so much and God loves you more. Always remember to pray. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Stay blessed. I love you so much. If the Lord God touches your heart to sow a seed, please, super stickers are open, PayPal is open, cash app is open. God bless you as you do it because he loves those that are cheerful giver. Learn to be among those that give. The more you give, the more you receive. God bless you in Jesus' name.